Emerging Leaders Academy has been making big waves and is a huge influence upon the youth of Sri Lanka. We are here at Tabu Sri Lanka to bring you more insights on what they are doing here today. I'm Tatiana Rifontaine and you are with Pulse. Emerging Leaders Academy that means like we train youth to like become leaders and like in this training at this training you will get to know um, how to design your projects and also like how to integrate with local institutions and government institutions and after the training done you will get a grant a small grant to try out a project so now like what we are doing is like get names like who are interested in the project and like it's we are the first batch of uh, ELA and like we are calling out the second batch. So this is basically like registration. Uh, so there is always a space or vacuum in, the, in terms of the youth leaders. So we want to train youth leaders into a, you know, we want to see them in a local council at least, you know, a majority of them because they are a lo lot of skillful people but don't have enough opportunity. So in our previous batch, so we were the uh, first batch of the uh, ELA. So we have uh, done two trainings and we have done three projects in three different parts of the country. So there we have teach, um, as example in Kompanya Vida we have done project with the 35 uh, young people. Uh, we have trained them in uh, digital media uh, through leadership, that was the theme for that. And the end of the uh, project period they have come up with the two projects. So uh, you will see some nice uh, video clips here. Uh, the, their work. So uh, we train them into the uh, how to make YouTube channel, how to use social media to uh, solve the problems in their locality. So that's the uh, something that they have you know learned from uh, the project. in a particular community it is our duty to sort of uplift the standards of the living community that we are in currently and if there are certain things that we could do within our limit our capacity I think it's something that we as youth need to look into and currently youth don't engage in such work and they don't uh, they sort of, rather than not engaging maybe they're not aware of platforms that exist and ELA, which is Emerging Leaders Academy, is one of the platforms that currently exist uh, for youth to engage with their communities irrespective of the race, culture, age, gender that they come from. So I really believe that youth need, they need to take such leadership qualities that they currently have and they need to put that into work in bringing up the stand of the communities that they reside in. All of us have the need, you know, have the need and have the ability to be a leader. There's always a leader in every one of us. Which need to be done is like, you know, we, we need to talk, talk on behalf of us and like talk on behalf of everyone else. You know, the need, the need of us, the, I mean, we have to be courageful to, you know, come out of the crowd and talk on behalf of us. I, I think uh, we have to have that courage and the ability to talk on behalf of us. Emerging Leadership Academy, it's an uh, interesting program for me. So it is uh, connecting the young leaders from the different parts of the country and uh, they are training them how to engage civically and politically and giving some sort of essential training to them to become a leader and the decision maker of their areas and the area of their interests, especially for the political. Even me, I'm a part of ELA and I have selected for the training as a participant and then I, I went through some training 
and after that ELA provided me in a small grant to do implement a program in my community and I selected other further 30 young people and I trained what I learned from the ELA training and now they are running their programs and they are really engaging with uh, their local government authority. This is a good model to copy it from other areas because the political engagement should be shot from the, uh, the grassroots level. Uh, it doesn't mean that we are jumping into the national parliament overnight or, or immediate after the parliamentary election. They should prepare themselves and they should educate themselves, they should uh, practice uh, enough and then uh, they become uh, good leaders for the country and strengthen the nation in a positive way. I could say like that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the past of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To watch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.